Very sad news coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Former President Pranab Mukherjee has passed away. Former President Pranab Mukherjee had been ailing for many days. He was in a deep coma for many days now since he'd been admitted to the Army Hospital in Delhi. And we just have a confirmation that he is no more. He has passed away. Pranab Mukherjee was the President of India. He was a long-standing member of parliament, union minister and senior leader of the Congress party. An active politician for many, many decades. He had been ailing for a while. He had been treated for a clot. He had gone into a coma. He had tested positive for COVID-19. He had many comorbidities. He had been deeply comatose for many days. There were daily updates that had emerged and now with a heavy heart, we confirm to you that Pranab Mukherjee has passed away. We're going to get you more details from the Army Hospital and from Pranab Da's family in just a moment. Pranab Mukherjee, a life very well lived. He last was the president of this great country and unfortunately he had been ailing for the last few days of his life. He had been treated for a clot, he had gone into a coma, he had tested positive for COVID-19, he had a lung infection, he had renal dysfunction. Thankfully it was a peaceful passing for the former president of the country. Pranab Mukherjee, a politician who was seen as able, capable across party lines, a senior leader of the Congress party, a long-standing member of parliament from West Bengal, a union minister, a formidable debater in parliament as well, is no more. He leaves behind a long political legacy that has spanned a large part of modern Indian political landscape. A man of many colors, of many hats, and he leaves behind a great political legacy that will be envied by many. Pr Pranab Mukherjee was last the president of this country. We're going to have our reporters joining us live to bring us the very latest on the information that we're going to get from the army hospital in just a moment. Pranam Mukherjee has been at the Army Hospital since the 10th of August. So for the last 21 days, three weeks, he has been at the Army Hospital where he had begun his treatment. Sadly, he slipped into a coma following surgery. And now he is no more. He was declared dead at the age of 84 today by a team of doctors at the Army Research and Referral Hospital. National Affairs Editor Rahul Srivastav live with us for 